So Apple Maps is an amazing application, and if you're completely new to it, I'll give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this particular app. Now you can find the Apple Maps application by searching up maps within your specific thing, and you should be able to find it somewhere across your phone. So it looks just like this. And when you open it up, you should be able to see the exact address that you're actually on, and you should be able to come into an application that looks like this. Now within this front screen right here, this is basically your main display. So you can move it around, you can zoom in, you can kind of look wherever you want to, and there's a lot of things that you can actually see. So you can zoom in as much as you want to, you can zoom out, I think all the way and see the entire world. So it's actually really cool and just like within this specific panel, you can actually get lost in and it's super cool to kind of see these things within this world. Now at the top, you'll see your time and everything. At the right side though, there's a few things. So this top button right here actually allows you to go and change the terrain. So if you click that right above the arrow, you can see exactly, you know, the explore, the driving, transit, and the satellite. If you change these, you can see it actually changes the way the map looks. So you can kind of change the terrain within the whole entire world, which is really cool. And this little, you know, navigation indicator will basically bring you back to exactly where you are located right now. In this case, I don't have my location on, but you can go ahead and turn it on and it should bring you to where exactly you are. Now this 3D button will toggle it between 3D view and 2D view. 2D view is basically at the top or you know, basically what it usually is, or 3D views at the top, and then 2D is basically the standard way that you know you would kind of look. So 2D is looking down, and 3D is looking at the side. Pretty cool stuff, because you get a little 3D view, and you can also use your two fingers to actually zoom in and switch between 3D and 2D just like this. You have a little compass at the very you know bottom of the 3D 2D button, which basically will show you exactly where you're at and where you're pointed. So it's actually really cool, and in real time, it'll show you the exact directions that you are. At the very bottom right, it'll show you the temperature and the basically the you know, weather or where that specific location is. Now, if you want, you can swipe up from the very bottom to get into this specific panel. This panel will allow you to do a couple of things. One, you can search within the maps. So you can actually go through and search within the whole entire, you know, ecosystem that you're in. If you want to look for a certain spot or you want to go somewhere, you can go and type in that address right here. You can also add in your home or work right here as well. So if you want to set custom addresses to different things, let's say home and work, you can add a home address or add a work address by just tapping here. And basically adding a, you know, wherever you work at or wherever you are home at, you can even add it like a custom name somewhere else. So you can add that too, which is really cool. Now you can also have a little guide if you want to set up a new guide, which is like a list of something and list of addresses. Let's say you're going on a trip or something. You can add that information in right here, which is super cool. Just click cancel to kind of hop out of it. And there's also like this little thing that, you know, little random things that people have made, public guides that you can also kind of add into your Apple Maps application as well, which is really cool. Now at the bottom, you can share your location, you can mark your location, and you can report an issue within Apple Maps as well. Now, there's another big thing. If you actually type in or tap on your essay name right here, so you've tapped there, you can see that there's other things. It'll show you your address, it'll show you your favorites, guides, offline maps, reports, and preferences. So under favorites, if you have certain favorite addresses like your home and work, you'll see that information here. If you tap on guides, these are just the guides that we talked about before that you've already made. Offline maps is a newer feature within iOS 17. It'll allow you to go and set up offline maps if you already have them. So this is something that's pretty cool if you just want to quickly like create some sort of map or something like that and you want to download them. You can download a map within your Apple Maps application right here, which is super cool. If you have reports, if you have different reports or anything that you've done, you can do that within this specific application. And under preferences, these are lots and lots of things you can go and edit. So if you're driving, walking, transit, or cycling, you can change these things within the preferences. You can add whether you want to avoid tolls or avoid highways. Walking, you can go and see if you want to avoid hills or avoid stairs. Lots of cool stuff that you can edit here. This is probably the big one that I'd recommend editing. You probably don't have to edit up you know, too much, but I'd recommend going through here and choosing the exact way that you like going through and essentially going through and enabling your settings exactly the way you want to. So that is a quick introduction of how to use Apple Maps. If you ever want to update Apple Maps, the only way to do it is by updating your system software. So you can do that by going into your actual iPhone settings, scrolling into your general settings, going into software update, and pretty much just updating your iPhone. And that's pretty much the main thing you can do. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.